Hi friends, today I'm going to explain about the migration strategies with the help of real life examples. This is mainly for the beginners to make them understand the various concepts of the cloud. In my other videos, I have covered IAS, PaaS, SaaS, private cloud, Azure VNet concepts like point to site, site to site, express road. So you can go through that if you could not understand those concepts in a general way. So let us jump into our today's topic, which is migration strategies. Usually for any cloud migration, these are the six strategies any architect or developer or any cloud engineer follow. Retain, retire, relocate, rehosting, repurchasing, refactoring. So you can ignore about the relocate for time being. Retain, retire, rehosting, replatforming, repurchasing and refactoring are the six strategies you have to always remember. Let us have a look what are those. Assume that you have one beautiful house and nothing to be changed. Everything is quite good in the house. You are liking it and it is going to last for many more years from now. Then what is the meaning? Why is that you have to change anything in that particular beautiful house? You will simply retain that right similarly if you have some kind of on premises data center with the all good design why do you want to change that to something uh, making by making some experiments right that means you will retain that particular data center like however you do it in the real life with the house similarly think about you have very old house you can't even touch to modify you can't do anything on that then what will you do you will simply collapse that house you will think about to do it right from the scratch everything rebuild it completely rebuild that so then the retire option will come into the picture that means you will just let whatever it is there you will let it go and then you will start you will start from the scratch that is a retire option so in the retire option Assume that in the data center or in your application side, it's all legacy. Probably you might have built in 1995 or 2000 time. Those development tools are no more available. Maybe you can take the example of Visual Basic 6.0 or the ASP or maybe the embedded uh, 2.0 embedded vcpp 2.0 or 3.0 type of versions. No more exist in the market. You can't do much changes on that. So those kind of tools you have if you have used for your application development you have to let it go you have to again rebuild it as per the current trend that is where the retire comes so retain and retail options uh, doesn't need much effort that means on the cloud migration side you can just either stay with that or you rebuild it completely from the scratch coming to the next strategy re-host or lift and shift in the rehost or lift and shift, you are going to rehost it somewhere else. So, in the real life example, assume that you have a small house and your needs are growing. You are purchasing a lot of furniture, electronics like refrigerator and all those stuff. Mm -hmm. Those all won't fit into the small house. Then, if you are good financially, definitely you will try to either purchase or take a house for the rent where you can your, you and your family can fit everything comfortably and you can also build all the new things what you're purchasing same way assume that you have a small data center but your requirements are growing day by day in terms of the scaling like your traffic is growing a lot which is coming to your data center and your data center is not able to fulfill that requirements at the same time your backup and archivals or your disaster recovery you have to take it to the other location right so all those things are not fitting into a data center or assume that your house is on the rent and you need to vacate now as per the leasing norms so definitely you will look for the options there are plenty of scenarios when you are owning a house or uh, took a house for the rent same type of scenarios comes for the cloud as well 
in the rehosting model based on your needs growing you will find the suitable resources on the cloud exactly the same type of resources on the cloud and then you will re host all your on premises work close to the cloud however you are doing you have plenty of things in your house and you are trying to bring all those to your new house and you are trying to arranging in the new house but you have lot of other facilities you are getting on the cloud side so you are just lifting and shifting those things to the new house in the cloud technology you are shifting the work close to the uh, cloud environment right so you are just lifting and shifting however you are doing it in the house like all the furniture you are lifting and shifting the same thing you will do it in the cloud world also so only thing is like you will find the good match of the resources on the cloud then you will either manually or automate those all installations and migrate or you will use the migration tools to move everything however you use some kind of transportation in the real life okay the next one is replatform uh, lift and uh, reshape assume that you have your own house or you took a house for the rent but you are alone and you need to maintain all the garden kitchen washrooms cleaning of the house everything so if you are looking for a better option where you don't want to maintain everything then you can join as a paying guest you will only maintain your room but as a paying guest you will get all the facilities like uh, kitchen everything will be maintained by the uh, owner of that house so there are a few advantages and disadvantages as well but you are least bothered about what is happening outside your room but uh, your room will be maintained by you exactly the same in the replatforming so assume that you are using your own vms and all in your data center or or even in the cloud now you have more maintenance burden on you you simply wants to use a platform which are provided by the cloud vendors such as uh, app services or azure sql there are plenty of things cosmos db azure functions what not so everything you can reshape your way of deployment and then you can just simply host that the most of the maintenance of this type of pass services will go to the cloud vendor you partially manage that for example within your application environment where you hosted that application level security application uh, level uh, maybe upgrades need to be managed by you but the rest of the things will be managed by the cloud vendor same as paying guest so the replatforming is nothing but you are actually shifting your focus to something else for example you are on the vms of on data centers or cloud you are just trying to replatform into a app services like ias model to the pass model type of thing so you will determine what is your new platform and modify the infrastructure underlying then validate and then you will process everything to the cloud next one is repurchasing or drop on shop assume that you purchased a house but now you are not liking it you want to just sell it out or you just want to left it uh, same way and you want to move to the modern house the so with the sophisticated uh, features and all those stuff so if you want to really get that kind of luxurious house you can't modify your existing one because that has lot of limitations rather you will either leave it or sell it out and then you will move to the new modern house which which has the sophisticated features same thing like repurchasing is like say you are on the crm and you want to move to the salesforce with the saas model type of thing or you are using office 2019 or office 2016 but you want to use all the latest features uh, with the cloud and all those stuff then you can move to the o365 office 2016 to o365 office 365 which is a cloud based saas model similarly plenty of examples like a chaos system to work day cms to drupal all those can be taken like there are plenty of reasons like one is using the latest features rather than getting into the licensing model you will pay uh, monthly uh, as per your utilization for example here you are renting uh, you are taking a house for the rent then automatically you will pay monthly rent for that 
and you are not really bothered about anything else same way like how you are doing in the repurchasing but your existing licenses are going to not going to be utilized they are all gone in 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 the case of the cloud for example you are going with the office 2016 to no, o365 all your license are gone waste you are but purchasing a new thing based on the monthly rentals pay as you go model the last one is refactoring in the refactoring model assume that you have a uh, some house with no walls everything is uh, pretty open like kitchen washroom hall bedroom everything is open in the first picture you see so your application was also designed based on the monolithic architecture with no walls everything is one application it's very hard to maintain manage if your application is really growing or your application users are growing then in that case you have to redesign your application properly structured that means like monolithic application to the microservices you need to completely redesign or refactor your code by decoupling the application so this rewriting and deep coupling comes under the refactoring there is much a lot of effort involved to do this part like architects need to design in a way that like converting one particular whole application into 100 different microservices for redesigning and then you can deploy a, a pass model or saas model that you can uh, sorry ias model you can decide later but in a simple terms you have a house with no walls everything is open but you are actually creating the partitions with the walls like however you doing monolithic application to the microservices type of application and you need there is lot of rewriting and decoupling is required in the refactoring model then you will uh, do a code deployment then full sdlc you will perform then you will integrate validate transition and you will move to the production so these are the six migration strategies for any cloud environments so hope this was helpful and you can go through my other videos where i compared with the real life thanks for watching my videos